Moscow did not agree with my digestion. The Russians burnt it, rather than leave it to me. And then, treachery in Paris. I ordered a withdrawal, and my enemies, the Sixth Coalition, suddenly found courage. I must show them real soldiering again, at Dresden, to save Marshal Saint-Cyr. August 26th, 1813. Dresden, on the banks of the river Elbe, has been surrounded by the vast forces of the Allied coalition. The vast Austrian, Prussian and Russian forces, under General Schwarzenberg, believe they have cornered one of my commanders. They expect the city to fall without much resistance. Within the city, French infantry man the various redoubts and defensive positions in the hope of lasting long enough for reinforcements to arrive. To the north of the river, my reserves are ready to cross and either strike at the enemy or move towards Dresden and reinforce the city's defenses. Hello everyone and welcome into the War on Sunday. And we're gonna hit pause here just to go through a few things. As always, yeah, we're just going to completely ignore Napoleon, but if we take a look at actually what is a, I would argue, pretty good defensive position if we were fight, well, if we were firing on a singular flank. If we were just covering here, this is really nice. We've got some good ramparts there. We've set up our artillery. Good place to shoot. Unfortunately, none of them are on fire at will, so let's correct that right at the start. Unfortunately, though, we are also going to have to cover three different areas. That isn't happening. What we're going to try and do is actually pull our cavalry out. And, um, sorry, guys. I'm going to try and pull you out, but you're probably doomed. But one unit here that is definitely doomed. All our artillery is going to be absolutely destroyed. I'm going to leave these guys here for a, uh, death. And we're going to try and sort these out. Which one should we pull? I kind of want to pull them. No, I'm going to pull these guys. Pull these two back. Cross the bridge. The bridge is what will save us. I have no idea why they set you up in this weird three-tier formation. If you pull back here, this is what it's about. We will succeed. It will be glorious. And on that note, we should probably set up some of these Tresseur Chavel into a decent position to be holding off the enemy and get a little bit of our units, our infantry reserve set up. I'm going to bring Napoleon like right here. And this just perfectly made protection. All those buildings, like you can just stick Napoleon there. He's going to be giving a nice bonus to everyone around him. Try and get unit of infantry coming up this flank. Eventually, we'll be able to start moving some things around. But for now, just hold back and um, let's see how long they last. And I bet None of that movement has gone through. I'm going to try and pull you guys back now. Yep. Flee. Right, they are moving. Perfect. Chances are over here, once they go and take these cannons, we're just going to jump into this building, try and keep the town hall for a, a distraction, really, I guess. <laughs> it's not going to do much else. Uh, could you not fire for a tick? Just while our units get past you. I said do not fire. There we are. Jump, jump. You guys, come up on this flank. Oh, we're not going to make it. No, we're going to switch. Start firing. Acceptable losses. Well, mostly acceptable. I mean, I would still like to keep a few of them, if possible. Oh, God, no. It's the wrong unit. Right, let's pull you in. Yep, you run away, run away, run away. <laughs> you need square formation. You're not going to last long if you don't have squares. Square up. Not going to get inside. That unit got smashed. We didn't get round to moving them quick enough. Oh, the cannon is alive. How is the cannon alive? Oh, you legendary buggers. I don't know how you did that, but I'm very impressed. Good for you. All right, what's happening over here? Have they moved in? Not yet. We don't need to worry about this flank. You guys fire here at the Landsver. You're not going to hit that cannon. What are you expecting? Let's try and take out as much of this cavalry as we can. Yeah, you're gonna hold. <laughs> you're gonna hold there. Good luck. Oh, 
I'll tell you what I might do. Just try and get a bit sneaky and see if we can clip the edge of them. We have two lines firing into this, uh... What are they even crossing on? Ooh. A little hill. <laughs> Interesting. Right, flanks are good, though. It's a lot... a lot of area to cover. I think maybe that's why they do it, just to force you to, like, pay attention to a whole bunch of different rubbish. Never really matters. <laughs> We're all doomed! We'll be fine! Hey, they're doomed. They're getting shot and they're taking on Cav. We got rid of nine of them. I think we're finally in range. So we get all these barraging because there's no point in keeping them elsewhere. Where are you? Oh, it's the two. Two over there. There's the little pot socks. And. Oh, no, I take it back. I was going to say, yeah, fire in the middle, but actually they. I managed to get a few of them. Not bad. Those charging Jaegers. Oh, excellent. Right, tell you what, you guys can all get set up. The fight that's going to happen back here as well. Let's see, that's our square formation. You can hold just at the front. Yep, they've run. That's absolutely fine. Chip's coming over the flank. And Gary and Hazard's coming up in the rear. Change to this. Get far on those Grenzers. It's your only chance to do any damage. And you've already hoofed it. Right. I'm looking away. I've given up on them. I'm going to pull these guys behind. So what we're aiming for, really, is to try and drag... Basically, their general, what's happening now. Try and drag their general in. You finish, so you can get firing on those Jaegers. Because they've set these up, the artillery only has a very narrow area to fire from. <laughs> you didn't do too bad there, just caught the edge of them. Nice. But it means you can't wheel them around, so you're really struggling to get the people into decent firing positions. I'm actually going to pull them back a little bit, just behind this cover. Because, yeah, <laughs> they are doomed! 40! Ah, bridges. Best part of the game. Come on. Come on. Pull away. I'll put you into your position. Enemy general slain. Why do I feel like you guys are just going to get trapped there? It's not too bad. This is higher, so we are firing over the top of them into all this cav. Infantry doomed. Left alive. Oh crap, what the hell was that? Oh, it's grenades! What are you doing with the grenades? Pretty good. Pretty good. Right, we're gonna go set up on the hill. I'm actually gonna move this unit of infantry behind because they can fire over the top of the chasseur. This is gonna be the one that squares up. Our front line fusilier. I don't think they need to anymore. It looks like most of the cavalry has just been absolutely gonzoed. Which I'm cool with. Well, let's pull you back at spell. Try and lure them in, just so they file up and get, you know, big and juicy in the middle there. We have in reserve two units of cav. We do want to get moving eventually. I kind of feel like I need to pull you back. Because I want them out of the way... Oh god, no, they're sending them in. Sending the general. Set up right there. At least we're not getting fired upon. We can get some cheeky hits in. That's a general. Let's look at them. No? What a cheeky little shot. I see you loading up. Nah, looks like that's not going to happen. Let's just pull back a little. Try and draw the enemy out into range. I'll pull these guys out. Uh, into range of the rest of our infantry on that flank. This flank has been um, uh, charged. Yep. All right, you guys need to get into proper formation. Or flee. That works as well. Ooh, wrong button. Quick, right. And boost. 
Fight for France. Excellent. Again, a nice boost from Napoleon. Don't do weird things and move your aura. I'm <laughs> saying Napoleonic Wars. I'm talking about auras. What the hell? I think they're going to do it. General coming in. Really, once we've cracked these units, we've pretty much won. That is the battle. Just draw him in. See you running away. GQ bugger. Yep, they're going to send in the Schwasser. Good shots. Oh, wait, this. That is the luckiest dude ever. Oh, your luck finally ran out. That was a full barrage. Right, well, that one's doomed. Cavalry inbound. Square up, lads. Finally committed the Hungarian Hussars. And in a matter of seconds... Oh, they're getting obliterated. Right, that one is our win, declared. We need to sneak out. We need to sneak someone out. So this, this needs to get obliterated. I think we're going to go from left flank. Because we want to get our cavalry... This love ammunition. We want to get our cavalry moving up. Grab these cannon. Help reduce the enemy morale. Keep thrashing things. Cavalry broken. Undo. And somehow win. In aligned engagement against Prussians. Greatest accuracy units in the game. Oh, but we are winning. And oh, that is good. Who's left? Jaeger's coming up. Alright, that's not line infantry. They're going to struggle. So I think... No, they're going to bring him in. Right, don't even need to worry. I was going to say, I think we can send our cavalry in to clear that. Let's speed this up a touch. Come on. Alright, look at that. They're Jaegers. They have improved... Well, increased range. Not exactly improved. I think we can sneak out a little. I'm just going to clip the edge of those Grenzers. Look at that shot. Okay. Maybe I should have left you. Yeah, we should have just left you. <laughs> they got obliterated. Sorry. All right, the bear's ideas aren't always the best ideas. Particularly if your cavalry is walking. Come on, I want to see a massive smash. Ooh, that guy took a beating, and that wasn't really that good. The enemy general has been slain, so that is the Russian forces and the Prussian forces now. Let's get this cavalry moving up. I'm going to split them. Cannon apiece. See all this artillery gone. Why are you stood there like absolute lemons? And since we've now cleared the left flank, let's start getting... Oh God, you've uh, run out of ammunition, haven't you? Start getting some of this infantry into better positions. I'm also going to send some round back just to get some nice shots off. Clip this there. There you go. I'm on a few shots into the building, but the rest of them should be hitting the back. Are they going to cross the bridge? I think they are. Oh, crap. They've done a lot of damage there. The howitzer are really hurting our cav. This side we've been fine. Looks like they've actually put them into maneuver. The general, though. I see you. Carl Schwarzenberg. They lose against artillery. God. Right, get moving. Come on, chaps. They don't like charging. All those losses soon build up, and that morale changes rather quickly. Right, let's shuffle you over this side as well, so you can be given a bit of a boost. And, um, I think I'm going to charge these dudes. Come here. 
Come here. I require you. Oh, general's gone. Infantry's gone. We have victory. So once more, this is just a battle of giving up those three flanks. As soon as you pull back into the main... Well, yeah, I'll ask, I'll argue this is the main city. You just get those bridges, and the bridges give you victory. Unfortunately, it, it feels really dodgy because you're giving up artillery to do so. They set them up. Why would you set up artillery in a defensive position unless you're like in the corner of the map and there's just no way you're going to move? Either way, though, our ignoring of Napoleon has once more led us to victory. Until next time, let's find out what we'll be ignoring then. As always, peace out.